Get my coat on. Okay, let's go. Okay, keys, mask. It's snowing, it's snowing. There's a lot of stairs. Nope. Ah, it's way too cold. Oh, it's way too cold. It's a long way back up. Whew. I'm Zealand. I'm gonna help you win. Not spending money. Now that we're inside and it's nice and warm, it's time to tell you how to deal with the fact that in Football Manager 21, you're just not gonna have as much transfer money as usual. People are trying to figure out how many more social medias I can promote at the beginning of a video. I have a Spotify, which I'm gonna figure out how to link down in the description. So you can follow me on Spotify if you ever wanna see what I'm listening to. Plot twist, it's a lot of Taylor Swift. I am gonna start running out of social media though, so I can't keep this up for long, but Spotify is the choice of the day. All right, so at Football Manager 21, COVID is not in the game, but the financial financial effects of COVID are in the game. They go away after a couple of years, but the most popularly played years in the game are obviously the first few, because you have to go through those if you're gonna get to the rest of the game. And some people don't like to get to the rest of the game because they're intimidated by people that aren't real, which honestly sounds like me and phasmophobia. <laughs> The reason the financials correct so quickly is that in Football Manager, there are fans in the stands, which means your money is able to, to kind of recoup faster than it is likely to be able to recoup in real life. But starting with a lot less than normal is going to be very common for everybody playing in Football Manager 21 until the end of time. And I ran into this. My first save in Football Manager 21 was with Aberdeen. I had a transfer budget of exactly zero dollars, but I was still able to significantly improve the team. How do you do this? Well, let's find out together. So when you start a new save, go to the finances section. This is where you're gonna figure out how bad it is in the first place. Obviously you have your overall balance. This is pretty easy stuff to figure out. You have your transfer budget and your payroll budget. Likely your transfer budget is going to be really low. Your payroll budget is going to be very tight. Now there are some things you can do to try and alleviate this tightness. The first and most obvious thing is ask the board for more. Now if you are taking a new job or maybe you have a huge reputation compared to the club, you actually have a shot at being able to ask the board for more transfer budget or more payroll budget. But you're going to want to make sure that that room is in the overall balance right over here before it's actually functional. Because you could just end up playing yourself. If the internet's taught me anything, that's a bad thing. There is also another source of money that is accessible to you. And we're gonna show how you are able to apply this in a second. But if you go to scouting and you see you have a scouting budget, you can actually transfer that scouting budget to your transfer budget. Now keep in mind, this is going to limit your ability to scout players. So be a little more selective with who you're sending your scouts out to get. Even if the entire world is in your scouting range, and I know people tend to out of sight, out of mind this, but even if something's in your scouting range, you still have to pay to scout that player. That's what your scouting budget for, or is for. Well, that and these like youth packages and senior packages that I have to be perfectly honest. I was gonna play dumb. Well, that's impossible, because I'm a huge nerd. I know exactly what they do. They provide knowledge uh, that more players exist. That also comes out of your scouting budget. You can use less of the scouting budget, transfer it to your transfer budget, and then take that transfer budget, and you can move it back and forth between your payroll budget. So you can unlock a little bit more financially if you absolutely need it to get a deal done. But what types of deals are you trying to get done to improve your team when you have no transfer budget at all? Great question, Zealand. When I took the helm at Aberdeen, I knew I needed to do something. My top three strikers were all injured for more than a month. I only had three center backs at the entire club and a couple of people that were out on loan that I literally could not recall as part of their deal. So I had to find a way to acquire players with no transfer budget and about 50,000 worth of wage budget. If you wanted to see how I did it live, I do stream on Twitch and that's where all this happened. The link is down in the description below, but I found some dead weight. 
This is obviously a luxury that not everybody is going to have afforded. But if you pull up your entire team, you sort by salary that's being paid and you see somebody that's in blue, that means that they are loaned in. If they are loaned in, that means that you can remove that wage without any cost to you. You can just cancel that loan once it becomes possible to cancel that loan, which means you know they, the transfer window for the other team that they're loaned from has to be open. So pay attention so you don't actually screw yourself because sometimes they don't match up exactly with yours. But if you cancel that loan, you free up that payroll budget like that. You ever notice I snap with my first finger? Had a rough childhood. The other thing that's a luxury that you can look for are players that have the wanted next to them. Now, these guys are going to be rarer this year because obviously everybody else doesn't have as much money either. And this means you are going to get lower transfer values for players in the first couple years of Football Manager 21. I'm sure I'll make another video about the transfer market as it plays out over a couple of years into a save. But if you do see somebody with the wanted tag next to them, that means somebody wants to sign them. You can either have them signed for a loan or you can have them signed for a transfer. But if you do the loan, make sure when you go to transfer and offer to clubs and loan offer, you go up to 100% and lock it. Lock it, red, right here. If you get no offers, you can start walking it down. 90%, 80%, 70%, 60%. Anything you can do if you do not immediately need a player to free up wage budget to allow you to enact our other transfer moves that can help you add to your team. This is, of course, a luxury. You only want to do this with players that you can afford to lose. I have too many wingers on my team compared to my incredible lack of strikers and central defenders at Aberdeen. So I can afford to lose a winger. I canceled a loan for a winger already, and that frees up the space for me to go make moves. Mogul moves. So you go to your scouting, go to assignments, and then you're going to actually see all of your scouts. You're going to want to create a new assignment, okay? You're going to want to look for people on end of contract. You can pick whatever region you want them to be in, and then you can add conditions down here and pick whatever current ability level star-wise you want the players to be at. But looking for end of contract, especially end of contract people in seasons that run counter to years, whether you have a summer season or a winter season, then six months into the game, you can really bolster your team. This is a bit of a more long-term play, but it's also, in my opinion, the most effective way to dramatically improve your team while just using your wage budget to make signings if you're signing young players through end of contracts be wary of compensation because you're poor and you can't pay it but don't worry we're all poor together another way to take advantage of this bit of fluidity you've created in your wage budget by using that scouting budget is you go you go to the board and then here there should be a, a senior affiliate i asked for it recently and they denied me the audacity the senior affiliate is going to allow you to get loans for free, that doesn't even cost you wage budget. The number one coup in Football Manager 21 is being good in, be a good senior affiliate if you're a small enough club. If you are too big a club, if you're in a top league somewhere, you're not gonna be able to get a senior affiliate. So this option is not there for you. That's why I didn't lead with it. Even it's though it's the only way uh, really to get players on your team that you don't have to pay for. If you aren't sure if you already have a senior affiliate, go to club info, go to affiliates, go to affiliate clubs, and they will show up here. I have a senior affiliate in the MLS. What has Scotland come to? Oh my god. Oh my god. I called this guy. I broadcast a game at Virginia where this guy scored a goal. I remember it. I'm loaning him in. Get in, Daniel! I can't show you because of copyright laws, but I will link a demo. <laughs> this is gonna make any sense. I will link my broadcasting demo. For those that don't know, I'm a sports broadcaster. It's like my other job is this a job or either of those jobs somebody tell my mom at least one of them is a job he scored his second goal against wake forest that's the one that i called and he is now one of the two players in the world who happens to play for my mls senior affiliate that i can loan in for free but this is an excellent way to acquire depth if you can get a senior affiliate do it me having some sort of serendipitous moment or not there's another way to get people immediately into your team other than a well a senior affiliate obviously there's the option to loan players but we're going to talk about that in a second i want to jump to this filter first on the scouting screen scouting filter uh, and then you're going to be able to filter your agent offers and here's what i want you to do get rid of all the players future prospects screw that transfer listed we can't afford them shortlisted players don't care affordable players i guess you could leave that tick because you can't afford anybody unattached 
players. Yes. And if you're that into it, forward it to your inbox. Don't even just wait for it in the scouting center. Forward all unattached players to your inbox. Offer a trial to every single one of them. I'm talking right here. You click that button. They will come play for you. For how long? Well, you get to set that too. And that is found in preferences. You go to preferences and then offer trial. When you click offer trial, how long? Do two weeks. Two weeks is all you need to learn everything about a player. One week is too short. You want to make sure you know everything about a player before you go in for the signing. Or maybe they just they show up and they're so good, you just want to sign them right away. And it doesn't matter. I do that plenty of times too. That is awesome. It's a good way to live. Hey, Zealand, why is your shirt covered in Zs? Excellent question. We actually at a company approached me and they were like, hey, do you want us to make you some, some like shirts and some kits. We'll send you a few first so you can make sure they're soft. I can confirm they're very soft and they will be coming out in the next week or so. I will be modeling them very poorly on my Instagram. I invite you to check it out. The last bit here is the loans. And this is where you find players you can loan in that aren't around. You can scout for loan players. So you go through the same process, create new assignment. You're looking for loan players in a particular area. And again, you can come down here and set like current ability. We want it to be good. All right, that's three stars. Uh, we want loans, good. And we want them in Cambodia, like I, in East Asia. There's no reason you'd really want to do that, but that's what we're looking for. What you can also do, and what I kind of tend to do, is you go to the big clubs. You go to like Manchester United right here, which of course isn't actually in the game. It's Man United. Uh, and you go to all players, you go to transfers, and you go loan. Uh, and all of these guys are available for loan. Now, some of them you might not be able to afford. Some of them are going to be too bad to be on your team. If you're at the level of Aberdeen, you're kind of right in the middle. Sometimes it doesn't matter who you are. All of these players are going to be able to play for you. But you are going to have to pay for these guys. Now, sometimes you won't have to. And the way you can figure out is you, you go to make offer, go to loan offer, and they will tell you, fortunately, exactly what you will need to offer them. They'll include monthly fees in here sometimes. They'll in, you know, include playing time in here sometimes. They will tell you exactly what you would need to put on the table in order to get that player into your team. Now you need room in your wage budget in order to pull this sort of thing off, but you knew that already, didn't you? So when I sat down with Aberdeen, I went through all the big six teams in England. I went through the big teams in La Liga and Bundesliga, Ligue 1, and I don't even think I went through Serie A. There is an even more like dynamite into the lake sort of way to fish for players on loan. And that is you go to your player search, you clear everything. You've got 14,000 players. If you're me, it depends on how much knowledge you have around the world. You click available for loan uh, and, and then click like interested. Sometimes they even bump it down one. Uh, and then my favorite way to kind of sort large groups of people like this, since the vast majority of them have not been scouted by my club at all, is to go to international and go youth team appearances and just just start kicking this up. What you're trying to do is get rid of the people that really suck. And unless you play for Spain, France, Germany, and you're not of the top quality, you should have three or four youth team appearances for a national team. Then pick your position, and all of a sudden we've narrowed down our options to 32 players, some of which wouldn't be able to get a work permit. I can go through and scout these 15 or 16 guys that I think are worth scouting and go from there as to whether I want to loan them in. It's a very crafty way to do it. And what if you end up not having a lot of players available? When we clear everything, you only have 500 instead of 15,000. Well, that's because your world knowledge sucks. So what, what do you do? Your world knowledge sucks. You can keep the money in the scouting area and expand the packages that you're buying, but that's an expensive route. The other option is you just say, screw it to actually having good coaches and you sign coaches that have knowledge of nations over here is it, look, all the knowledge of these nations. My decent knowledge of China is coming from Kostadin Vidalov. That's it. Or you get affiliates. You see, I get knowledge of France, Costa Rica, Honduras, Jamaica, Guatemala, Brazil. All of that's coming from Atlanta United. So find coaches that have knowledge of countries that one, you'll be able to sign those players and they'll be able to actually play for your team. I'm talking work permits or restrictions in places like Eastern Europe where you can't sign too many non-EUs, you can't sign too many non-Belarusians or whatever. And then all of a sudden you go to your player search, you're gonna have a lot more guys 
there. Another way to gain knowledge of areas is actually to just send a scout there. Tell them to look for something, obviously, but send a scout there. And the longer they spend there, the more your knowledge you're going to have in that particular area. Regardless of what they're looking for or not, you'll become aware of more players in that area. Ideally, you'd send the scout there looking for lone targets so that the moment that scout accumulates enough knowledge to be able to find the person that's going to help you win, then boom, and you're ready to go. The lack of money in Football Manager 21 is going to be one of the biggest issues. I'm already getting a lot of DMs and complaints about, what do I do? I can't sign anybody and my team sucks. This is my answer to that. So if you come into the stream, you're like, Zeeland, what do you do? I'll probably just explain it to you anyways, but then I'll tell you to come watch this video because I know I won't have explained it as well as I just did right here. And that's what we call not having faith in your own ability. I'll see you guys on another video. Look out for the shirts.